Hello, this is Mike, aka Desirous Prime, and I'm here with my second Transformers vlog where I'm going to talk about the history and origins of the series and a couple of things from the latest episode. But before we do all that, I just want to clear something up once and for all. Yes, this is Snow White. Okay? This room was my sister in law's. She asked me down the hall, me and my girlfriend and my son, our son, live in this room, sleep in this room now. The room hasn't been redecorated, so whenever I do a review or whenever I do a vlog, you're most likely going to see Snow White. Um, what's the face from Sleeping Beauty? Some silly little birds. And another silly little bird. Oh, what's the first from Beauty and the Beast? Sorry, and um, Sleeping Beauty, I think it is, and loads more silly birds. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to paint a wall just so you don't say, "Yeah, it's no white." So, I hope that matter can be resolved once and for all now. Where was I? Transformers are so the origins. Now this idea, I actually conceived of the idea in 2007. Um, it wasn't originally planned to be a YouTube series. Um, it was just going to be something that I'd do on my phone and send to my mates. Maybe if I could have a bit of background music or, you know, it was going to be basic. Just film it. No editing or anything, just film it and see how it went. But, well, my phone got stolen. There was this whole shit, my phone got stolen, a whole bunch of other things got stolen. I got kicked out of my flat because my stuff got stolen and shit. And yeah. So, that got put on hold at the time my girlfriend was pregnant, so then Bradley came along. And I don't regret that my series got put on hold again. There are a few titles that I had in I originally for the series. Um, the first one was Cyber Nation Street. And there were some other things that I w was thinking of doing. Um, there's um, There was going to be Cybertronian Idol. Cybertron's got talent. Transformers on Ice. Bad enough, I can't do stop motion. Imagine me trying to stop motion on ice. Um, the Cybertronian news at 600 microseconds, and one which I haven't completely ruled out Ironhide. As you know, in Transformers, I say Ironhide is a private investigator, just like I inside. Now, I did actually spend a while trying to mess around the Ironhide toy, so he's like half robot, half vehicle symbolic wheelchair sort of thing. I couldn't do it and looking back it probably wouldn't have been in the best taste. So not saying no to Ironhide, never say never. Um yeah so eventually my ambition got the better of me. I signed on to YouTube on my girlfriend's birthday last year and got my own channel, got my own account, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to put them on here. The laptop that I'm filming this from has Windows Movie Maker, which helps. I do the filming off my camera phone, and I can get a higher, before you mention, I mean, uh, Boylan's Bowie mentioned this, I need a better camera. That phone does have a better camera, but YouTube, for some reason, it just won't upload on, in a higher quality. I don't know. I might try a little. I've got a couple of mini projects relating to Transformers or so that I might use as a testing ground for this um, higher quality camera. Um, yeah, so eventually after doing the set and stuff, um, I found a doll's house, and there's still more work that needs to be done because 
I still need a nightclub. I need a nightclub. I need um, other stuff, other sets, and that just to broaden it out a bit. Now I hope in the first episode you all understood the part about when Megatron and Prime are talking about the houses. Basically, budget reason. The only other dolls I saw was 75 quid. That one cost me a tenner. So I've got that one. Basically, all I did was it was the same house, Megatron copied Prime's interior decoration, basically. With the exception of you've noticed the two tables are missing from Megatron's house. Now, there's a bedroom upstairs, that's where Starscream shagged Darcy. Um, basically every Transform's got the same bedroom as well. But, you know, it's the same thing, Decepticon House and Autobot House are the same. So, just clearing that up. In episode 2 we see a chunky barricade, I think it's the Fast Action Battler. Um, I actually wrote this episode before I had the decent, the proper deluxe barricade. Um, that took me five months to get. I had loads of them, I think barricade was like, might have been like second or third to last of my movie Transformers that I bought. And this was when the All Spark reissues and the Cybertron reprint came out and stuff. Um, it still took me ages to find them. Um, I didn't have Prowl at the time either. I just had these general plot lines on paper and eventually as my, ex my collection expanded, my series expanded. There's four series into a um, 30 episodes divided into four series. The first ep series, season, series, whatever you want to call it, has nine episodes. The second one has eight, 17. The third one has eight and the last one has five. Um, basically, but it doesn't end there. No, it doesn't. But I'll talk about that when I've finished off the other series in about a year's time. Episode format is fortnightly, just to keep it running a little bit longer, so I'm not rushing it out. It gives me more time to prepare. Like I've got stuff to do for series th episode three before I can start filming that. Even though I'm in the right mindset to film it. Excuse me. Yeah, so anyway, the episodes went through a lot of rewrites. There's a couple of episodes that I've cut out that I might film for subscribers. This is another bonus feature. There's a whole Bumblebee episode where Bumblebee gets evicted for not paying his rent. I dropped that at the time because it hit a little too close to home with my eviction and shit. Um, and the other one's um, a Christmas special, once in Royal Iacon City. And that, I'm not going to divulge too much about that because that would fall at the end of season two. I might actually still put that in. I do have an episode planned for Christmas. That's all I'm going to say. It's not so much an episode, it's more like a feature length. It might be a two or three part, or it depends. Anyway, I'm running out of time. I hope what I've said has been useful and interesting. I hope it hasn't been boring. This is Desire's Prime. See you later.